Hey everybody, how is it going? Today, I am working on this 528 cubic inch Gen 2 Hemi. This engine was built by another engine builder actually. However, the customer of the engine wants me to go through it, make sure the clearances look correct, make sure everything is kosher. And then I'm actually going to run this engine on our dyno with twin Holley Sniper throttle bodies. So that's gonna be super trick, very cool. This engine is just beastly. It's hard to tell with it just sitting on the engine stand, but this thing next to a small block Chevy is just physically bigger. Anyways, I'm gonna get to tearing this thing down and see what we find inside. There it goes. So these Hemis come with a uh, external oil pump. Pretty cool. Take the oil pan off next. Let's see what we have inside. I know nothing about the interior, the internals, not the interior, nothing about the interior of this engine. And I'm curious to see what is underneath this oil pan for connecting rods, kind of crankshaft that it has inside of it, stuff like that. oil pan is off. Looks like we got some big beefy H beam rods. All right. Let's keep digging into this thing. Kind of like these oil pan studs. Start taking rods and pistons out. Bearing looks really clean. Rings came out nicely. Okay, put these to the side for now. I'm going to inspect these later, but first I want to get this block torn apart. Beefy. Take a quick peek at the bearing since this one already popped out. 
Looks like we're running a king, a king. Standard clearance. Look at that bolt. That is a big SOB. Okay, so our adjustable cam gear is installed at zero degrees, and it looks like we've been degreed at 111 and a quarter. I'm like guessing lobe separation angle, maybe intake center line. Take these bolts off. Let's see what we got. Come on. Roller bearing, nice piece. And let's get the camshaft out. really small camshaft for how big the block is the cam has a pretty small core Okay, the short block of the 528 Gen 2 Hemi is all torn down. 
visually everything does look good however we won't know any details until i put a dial bore gauge and check the main bearing clearance the rod bearing clearance and really and you know piston rings piston to wall clearance all of that is still to be determined in the next coming video make sure you all subscribe and i'll see you later